first in my cookbook tutorial, uh, cookbook series. In this cookbook series, I'm going to be teach. In this cookbook episode, I am going to teach you how to use a leaderboard. Now, if you are following my current beginner tutorial series, don't. These are meant to be one-off lessons for people that don't know how to do it. Uh, it's, it's basically this is learning new API. This is not for learning scripting. And I, I, I plan to, you know, maybe even one day cover all the API. <laughs> That's not likely. Okay. First off, we're just going to make a lead. Uh, first off, we're just going to insert a script into Workspace. Okay. So we go. So we want to make a leader stance. It's very specific. I'm sure if you've already checked the wiki page, which I'll hopefully leave down in the description, but I might forget. You need to create a model in each player called leader stats. You do this when the player is added. And so you go game dot players. For those of you who are just going to pause. For those of you who have watched my scripting tutorials, tutorials and got to a point where they feel they can progress on to learning a new API in the form of the cookbook, which they haven't already learnt, um, I have this at the bottom. And yeah, so we aren't going to reference an object actually, but we are going to reference the players. And whenever we want a new player to be added, uh, let's go. I, I already know what it is. Let's go find players and see what event that is. Players. Okay. Player added. So it's the player added event, and the instant and the value it returns is the player that was added. So we want connect. Oh, silly mate. Uh, player added connect function player. Okay, and so now this will fire print player is added. Now this will fire whenever you um. Oh, whenever. The player joins the game. Come on. So, yeah. There we go. Player is added. So it fires. And if I get it to type, it, if I go player.name. Because I'm in workspace, that should return as function one. I wonder why I get so much lag. If anyone knows, yep, there we go. Player one. So we want to make a model in the player called leader stats. So what we do is go local stats. So that we make a local variable. If you don't know what this is, go look at my previous tutorials. Um, equals instance. Dot new. This is the API. Oh, I should actually. Yeah, I do need to have that in down here. I keep on forgetting to update the notepad I have for the tutorials. Um, so it's variable. Oh, I know. Var equals instance dot new string value parent. So that is the formula for creating a new instance. Okay, so we want model play. Okay, and then we write stats dot name equals. This could be anything you want, but this um, great stuff. This has to be called data stats. Okay. Now to add a stat, you write something like local money equals instance dot new. 
and now we write int value, initial value, um, and put that in stats. Okay, money dot name equals money. Okay, this the stat the stats you store in leader stats can be anything. You don't have to write any code, so they're all regimented in. So first person has the most money, second person has the, has the second most money, etc. So there we go, there's money. We can also write money dot value equals. Now I believe these can only store. Oh, I'm not sure if they can store string values and bool values. I haven't written any leave that scripts for a while, but we'll find out. Okay, so there we go. I changed my money to two thousand. Um, I think actually they must be able to. Unless I have to insert it. I'm sorry, I don't. Okay, maybe I've. No, okay. So you can only store. Uh, numerical values in int values but I do believe there is a way of storing string values bool and bool values probably not nah I don't imagine there is a way of storing object variable of the value so anyway so I've got the basic script now we want to make a part that gives you money when you touch it um, or even I'm going to insert a tree. There you go, tree. I'm going to find a money decal, decal. Just so we know, money grows on trees. Money does, in fact, grow on trees. There you go, maybe I'm a bit immature, who cares? Um, I actually, I, I, I really like how Roblox blends that in. I know, I know he, the guy added the shading, but I like how Roblox... Yeah, I think that's quite cool. Anyway, it looks very 3D, doesn't it? But slightly irrelevant. Say so slightly, completely off topic. So now we're just going to... Uh, Duplicate the script, put it in here. Oh. Okay. So now we write script dot parent dot touched um, connect function hit. Okay. So if you don't know what this does, go look at my, I think this one's in my fifth tutorial. Uh, hit gets, um, we'll return the instance that hit it. So if we go hit, so I'm just going to show you what hit does in case you've forgotten. Print hit. So when I touch it, it'll print left leg, right leg, humanoid root part. Humanoid root part right there. Okay, so there we go. Doesn't that work, chap? I think humanoid root part's my torso, but I don't know. Um, we can find out actually. We could do remove human. Okay, so we go. Now, what we need to do now is I'm going to teach you the API of Git Player from character and I'm just going to test this works so I'm going to pause alright so it does work and so what we do we go game dot players get uh, get play from character and then we just go hit dot parent and we need to find it as a variable actually so player equals that okay local and so what this means is the thing it it will get. I'll show you. Okay. 
Um, when it hits here, you let's say it hits your right, left leg. If you go parent, if you just go parent to get player one here, you will not be able to edit what's in leader stats. However, if you get use and so that oh, sorry because leader stats is here and you can't just go you could go script dot parent dot name uh, player equals script dot parent name then game dot players dot player dot leader stats you could do that but it's far easier to use get player get player from character then you've got to specific specify the model great pronunciation there the model which you're going to get the character from if it doesn't have a humanoid in it and it doesn't have a corresponding player in it it will crash so if I go print player okay there we go it's printing me and see when it hits when it touches the palm leaves it just printed out nil. Okay. That's fairly simple. There we go. Player dot leader stats dot money dot value. You've got to have a dot value in that equals player dot leader stats dot money dot value Plus ten, okay. And this will just give you points as you walk over it. At least I hope it does. Okay, so it works nice. Um okay, so yeah, that is a brief introduction into leader stats. Um we can also, you know, do a wild true do loop in here. Uh Oops. Go here if you just go. Oh. Okay. Uh, money. While true do money. Dot value equals money. Dot value plus ten. And so this will just add. Oh. Crap, that's going to break it, isn't it? Ah, oh, shit. I didn't mean to swear, sorry. Uh, this is me checking the API, was right. Got to do that. Alright, I think I'm going to... That will work if you put a weight there. I think I'm going to end this tutorial now. Alright, see you next